Oh, well, here we are with a new book. And I thought she looks so cute. And her name is Nasha. And this story is called Nasha and the Bear. There's the great big bear. And the Jam Day Disaster. Oh, dear. Look at all those lovely strawberries. Oh, we like strawberries, don't we? So, it was jam day. Bear was making all his favourite jams. He picked the apples and the berries in his garden and added them to the pot. So, there's all the berries. So, apples, raspberries, cherries, strawberries, all going in the pot. Look how happy he is making his jam. going to have to cook those, isn't he? Mix, mix, stir, stir. The jam was nearly ready. Bear went inside to get more jam jars. He is going inside. When he came back outside, someone was already eating his jam. Uh-oh. There she is with her spoon. And look at his face. Bear doesn't look very happy. It was Masha. Hi, Bear, said Masha. This jam needs more berries. Masha bounced across the table. Before Bear could stop her, she tipped the basket all over and the berries fell on the ground. Look how many berries she's standing in. Loads of raspberries. Oops. Giggled Masha. Bear tried to pick Masha up, but when he reached down, his hand got stuck in a jam jar. Oh dear. I'll help you, said Masha. She pulled and tugged and tugged and pulled. Look at her trying so hard. Look at that face, all concentrated, pulling and pulling. But she can't get it off his hand. What's going to happen? Crash! Bear fell backwards. The basket of fruit went flying. The pot of jam soared through the air and jam spilled everywhere. Splat! Oh my goodness. Oh, look at poor Bear's face. He looks very unhappy about that. Now there was no jam left. Grrr growled Bear. He went into the forest to find more fruit. Poor Bear. There were no more berries on the bushes. There were no more cherries in the trees. And the hedgehogs took away the very last of the apples. Oh, oh look at them carrying. Look at those hedgehogs carrying the apples. Clever hedgehogs. Meanwhile, back at Bear's garden, the animals all gathered round Masha. Listen up, everyone, said Masha. Look at her getting ready, talking to everybody. We need to make new jam for Bear. Go and find your favourite ingredients. So she's got the squirrels, the hedgehogs and the rabbits all willing to help her. So Rabbit collected the carrots, Squirrel gathered the mushrooms and the hedgehogs picked the peppers and pine cones. Then Masha dumped everything into the pot at once. Look at them gathering all these things. Aren't they clever? This will be the yummiest jam ever, said Masha. There's a squirrel watching her, putting the pine cones in. Bear! My new jam is ready to eat, called Masha. Oh, look. Not sure about the colour. What do you think of that? Bear stared at Masha's jam. It didn't look anything like the jam he was used to. Just try it, said Masha. So Bear took a bite. Isn't he brave trying that? Even though it wasn't the same jam he's used to, he gave it a try, didn't he? Isn't that good? Bear was so surprised 
This was the yummiest jam he had ever tasted. Look, even though it's that funny colour, it's still delicious. Masha served more jam and Bear ate it all up. Then he was ready for a nice long nap. Oh, he looks very happy there, doesn't he? With his teapot and his rocking chair and his full tummy. Looks like he's going to have a lovely nap. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the Jam Day Disaster.